What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. I know you're smiling if you're a Giants fan, or I know a lot of you guys are. Some of you guys, maybe not. Maybe some of you guys are like, I'm upset that Dak's back with the team, uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm ecstatic as a New York Giants fan. It has nothing to do with Dak Prescott, the football player. Let's start there. Dak Prescott is a good quarterback. Top 10, borderline top 10 at a bare minimum, even though I could argue that there's definitely some young up-and-comers that may knock him outside of my top 10, but definitely a good quarterback, no doubt about it. But is he a guy that could win you a Super Bowl when he makes $40 million a year? Well, let's circle back to the beginning of his career when he was making about $500,000 or whatever it was as a third-round pick, and if you're an unbiased Dallas Cowboys fan, and this is crediting your team, a lot of time when I talk to Dallas fans and I bring this up, I feel like they think I'm insulting their football team. No, I'm giving you credit for building an amazing roster to be able to compete to almost go to a Super Bowl with a third-round quarterback in his rookie season. It is unheard of that a rookie quarterback makes the playoffs, let alone have the success that you guys had with a 13-3 and season. We beat you guys twice. Otherwise, you guys would have been 15-1. and So you guys had a great year that year, and you had an unbelievable offensive line. You had a very good defense. You had a great running attack with Ezekiel Elliott, and you were able to perform with a rookie quarterback getting you as far as he did. Nobody could deny it. My question to Dallas fans now is, you had a guy that was set up very well his first two years in the league. You guys had a lot of success. Romo, of course, went down with the injury. That's why he got the opportunity. And I'm not saying he's not a, a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback. But is he a good enough quarterback to win you a Super Bowl, which is the ultimate goal? If you're not going to win a Super Bowl, why extend the guy? Is he a good enough quarterback to win you a Super Bowl when he gets $40 million a year. But when, before I talk further about this, let's pull up the exact quote here from Adam Schefter. And this is the reality of the league. It's what New York Giants fans will have to deal with, potentially with Daniel Jones in the future. It's what the Eagles fans had to deal with, with Carson Wentz. It's what Rams fans had to deal with, with Jared Goff. The quarterback market is out of control. But I'm going to talk about why I think Dallas messed up massively in this video. But first, let's go over the tweet by Adam Schefter. Sorry if the green screen's messing up a little bit. This coming from Schefter, the Cowboys are giving Dak Prescott a four-year, $160 million deal, including $126 million guaranteed, sources tell ESPN. And from what I read, it's like $72 million in the first year. I think some of it has to do with the signing bonus. The first three years average out to $42 million a year. And I've read conflicting tweets. Some people said 162. I know it's $126 million guaranteed. It's between 40 or 40 to $41 million on average. The first three years is what really matters. I'm sure that's why Dak structured it that way. Because I'm sure in the fourth year, if he's struggling, they can get out of it and they could cut him. But they're going to have to pay him $42 million a year the first three years and 126 of it is fully guaranteed. And with this, and like I said, it's the reality of the NFL, there will become sacrifices. And it's very hard for a quarterback making the money that Dak is going to make to be able to compete and win a Super Bowl, especially when he couldn't do it on his rookie contract with a much better team. You look at this Dallas team right now, I think we all agree the Dallas offensive line is not even close to what it once was. Yes, I think they're trying to get it back up and running. And maybe they'll draft another lineman in this year's draft. But the line is not even close to what it once was. Ezekiel Elliott is not even close to the player he once was. The defense is not even close to the team that it once was. And now you're committing $40 million over the next four years to a quarterback that couldn't get it done with an amazing roster when he was on a rookie deal. I love it as a New York Giants fan. And the way that the Dallas Cowboys handled this, in my opinion, is comical. And I'm ecstatic. Well, let's cycle back. The Dallas Cowboys had an opportunity to extend Dak Prescott about two years ago when the market was much lower. You saw contracts going to Kirk Cousins. I think it was three years, $27 million a year. You probably could have got him in the high 20s, low 30s two years ago had you done it. They could have done it last year before Pat Mahomes signed. I think it was going to be in the $33, $34 million range, and they didn't do it. So they go into last year with Dak Prescott unhappy on the franchise tag. He plays four games in the fifth contest against the New York Giants. He goes down with an injury, which knocks him out for the rest of the year. And off of that year, the Dallas Cowboys now decide that this is the time that we're going to give him that extension at $40 million a year. To me, that's backwards. If you were going to do it, you'd do it two years ago. 
at a much lower rate. That's what a smart team would have done. And I'm not saying that the Cowboys are a dumb organization. I think they draft very well. They've done some very good things with some of their extensions. Tyron Smith was a great extension. I talk about it all the time. As a matter of fact, I want the Giants, if Andrew Thomas is good, to try to mimic that. They extended him three years into his career, and he ended up being a great contract, and it's why you guys have a lot of cap space all the time, how you're able to retain players by doing things with this. But this decision is ass backwards. If you were going to go for it and you were going to play with Dak Prescott, you go all the way. You don't now cave after the guy had an injury. If there was ever a time to franchise tag Dak Prescott, now would have been the year. The salary cap is down. He's coming off an injury. Your team with him in at quarterback was 1-3 and three last year. He didn't finish the game against the Giants. And you should have been 0-4 if we're being fair. You guys had that ridiculous fluky comeback against the Atlanta Falcons. And the year before, you guys went 8-8 eight and eight with a team that a lot of people thought could potentially go to a Super Bowl. You guys ended up going 8-8. Eight and eight. You had a loss to the New York Jets, and it's why the Cowboys weren't willing to give him an extension then. And yes, I know your team struggled, but it, last year, maybe Jerry looks at it like that, and he says, well, Dak showed his you know worth this year because we ended up going 6-10. and 10. But you, he should have been 0-4. 0-5, really? The Giants probably should have beaten you guys the first time. It's not like your team was playing well. Not to say he wasn't putting up numbers. I get it. He puts up great stats, but he's not delivering victories. And a lot of those stats probably came in garbage time because your defense was as poor as it was. You guys were at an all-time record-breaking rate. And again, I want to go back to what I initially said. Dak Prescott is a good quarterback. But Dak Prescott's not good enough, in my opinion, to win a Super Bowl getting the money that he's about to make. And it's the world we live in in the NFL. And it's why, as Giants fans, we may have to face this. We're not we're not free of this. I'll be the first to say it. We're going to have to come to this decision. And, you know, here's what I'll say about the Giants and Daniel Jones. And we don't know yet. we got to see how he plays this year. Hopefully he progresses. He gets better. But if the Giants are going to extend Daniel Jones, you do it as soon as possible. You don't beat around the bush with a quarterback because if you beat around the bush, it's only going to backload it and make it worse. The Cowboys, like I said, could have signed this guy two years ago at a much lower rate. The market only goes up. Um, And it is just, in my opinion, it was a horrible job of handling this by the Dallas Cowboys with Dak Prescott. And now you make the commitment with him coming off the injury. You don't know if he's going to be the same quarterback, especially when the same parts are not there that once were. As a Giants fan, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. The Dallas Cowboys are going to be a better team this year with Dak Prescott at quarterback. But he was coming back no matter what. Okay, and I think they should have tagged him and seen how he played and then maybe make the extension or they should have given him the extension two years ago. But as a Giants fan, you should be thrilled with this because in my opinion, this will probably set the Dallas Cowboys up to be mediocre, which is exactly where you don't want to be. He's a fringe top 10 quarterback that will never have near the roster he once did when he first came into the league. And if he couldn't win then, he ain't going to win now. Not a Super Bowl. Smiles, ears to ears, New York Giants fans. I think Dallas, I'm not saying having Dak's bad for them, but the way in which they went about it definitely hurt the franchise. And by no means do I think he's a quarterback that will be able to take on that kind of salary and win a Super Bowl. But we'll find out. As always, guys, if you like what you watch, please subscribe. Drop a comment. Maybe. Give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.